After Diddy was accused of sexually assaulting his ex-girlfriend Cassie and several other women. Old comments made by Wendy Williams about him began circulating online. Fans of Williams also can't help but wonder what she would say about the rapper if she were still in the spotlight on TV. One person tweeted. Wendy Williams would want to know what's going on with Diddy. In addition to court documents that had to be read aloud, Williams wanted to display a photo of federal authorities raiding Diddy's home on the famous big screen. One of the most memorable moments on the Wendy Williams show was when Diddy sat down for an interview with Williams in 2017, after years of hostility, they managed to bury the hatchet and have a private conversation. It was a celebration of true love, and Williams reveled in the delicious smells of her guests, commented on her youthful looks, and complimented how expensive her outfits were. She also played the role of journalist on the red carpet, pointing the camera at her sparkling St. Laurent boots. Dee Dee was a gracious guest. I just want to tell you how proud I am of you, because I don't think you deserve enough credit for being the first person to really talk about our culture. Not just hip-hop culture, but hip-hop celebrities as well," he said. But Williams said there was a time when Diddy was so angry about the coverage of his private life that he wanted revenge. When Wendy Williams worked as a radio host for Hot 97 in the 90s, she suggested on air that Diddy might be gay. She believes that Bad Boy Records founder retaliated by using his influence as a well-connected music mogul to orchestrate his 1998 ouster. Did Puffy have a hand in this? I believe it she told New York Magazine in 2005, in an interview with Art of Dialogue magazine, Diddy's former bodyguard Gene Deal said Williams intended to use a photo of a man with Diddy's pants down to support his statements. He recalled. But Ms. Deal claimed the photo was taken when partygoers jokingly attacked Ms. Diddy. The man who received it sent it to Williams, who talked about it on his radio show. Wendy Williams said she put him in a dangerous position, Deal recalled. Williams also spoke about her belief that Diddy fired her in her 2005 book The Wendy Williams Experience. But I don't hate him, she writes. After recounting some of Diddy's run-ins with 